Hello and welcome to another Bosco's Toy Box where I'm back with more toy collectibles. And this time I have a very uh, large trade box from one of my friends in the Collector's Talk Trading Circle. And his name is Dismania. And I actually have uh, probably a little bit bigger of a box for him because I've been... Uh, buying and finding stuff in the flea markets for him in the past couple months and just have been waiting for the right time to send it and um, since he sent me one uh, it looks like I'll be sending his uh, hopefully very shortly here uh, it's a big box let's see what we can get through and uh, let me show you what Dismania sent me okay first of all I was sent this is I'm, I'm assuming this might have been from the Hot Wheels Day at Kmart, maybe? Because I think I've seen these given away uh, at Kmart during their Hot Wheels Day. But it's for the 71 El Camino, which is very cool. And that will go up on uh, probably one of my walls where I keep uh, some of my Matchbox and Hot Wheels. So, very cool. I will set that aside. Okay, next. Uh, let me just grab what I see here. I have got uh, something that I do collect uh, for uh, G1 or Vintage and uh, Recent as well. I do collect the Corpse Elite figures and I do not have this uh, figure yet. Uh, Plague. Uh, and that is very cool. I actually, I know there's a lot of glare but you can kind of see love the white uh, skull on his uh, shoulder, on his arm there. More on his arm, not his shoulder. On his arm. And uh, he is going to be cracked open and used for toy photography. So that's very cool. He might, I don't know, he might even come to San Fran with me in January for some toy photos. So very cool. Very happy to get core, uh, elite core figures. Okay, I got a small bag here. <clears throat> and I will show you this is a diver Come, uh, I'm going to do a hard focus here great my uh, battery is already set I, I, I forgot to charge the battery in this camera so this goes out I might have to do my very first edit so we got a deep sea diver I have got a smaller little Green Lantern figure, which is very cool. Very awesome. A lot of cool stuff I can use for toy photography here. And this is... Um, I think this is Baywatch figure. If I'm not mistaken. I think that is a Baywatch figure. Because I have one of these. So that is very cool. I will add it to my... Baywatch figures that I, have, that I have. That is very cool. This is a little PVC figure. Uh, you can tell that his hockey stick is broken, but that... Uh, come on, focus. Camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. You can tell his little hockey stick is broken, but that is still cool because I actually do like him on his little skates that he has. And I will find a very good use for him for toy photography, and he will go on my shelf. Doesn't stand up, but that's okay. And this is a uh, DC figure. Uh, is it? A, uh, they're called Chibis, I think. So that's Green Lantern. I do not have that one yet. I forgot. I don't know if I have the DC line or DC line. Yeah, I can't even talk right. I cannot remember if I have the DC line or not. I think it's the Walking Dead that I'm collecting of the Chibis. But still, that is very cool because these will go in my collection. I do like the little chibis, and that's Aquaman. Very cool. So let me set these guys up in front of my other little toys that I have. And I do apologize for the, what is it, 3.30, and uh, it's, it's not getting dark, but there's just not much sun coming in. This is an Imagine X Joker, which I do not have this version yet. That is very awesome. And I do collect Imagine X. I love the face on him. Very cool. Very happy to get Imagine X figures. Okay. Next up, I I have another 
which I do not have this one as well. That, so this is very cool. This is a, it's popping out here, a Imaginex Lex Luthor. So that is very cool. And he does come with his little, uh, I don't know, is that a mace kind of weapon? I, I don't know. But that is very cool. So let me, because he's going to go directly on my shelf. So might as well just have him hold his little weapon. There we go. Okay. Next up, I got all these plastic bags I want to reuse, of course. And I love wind-ups, and this is um, uh, Rugrats, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I love, especially I love huge wind-ups. That uh, I don't even know if they still make these anymore for premiums. If they've kind of gone cheaper and made them smaller or whatever, but that is a very cool wind-up. And he's going to be used for a wind-up toy photo that I'm doing. And right now he doesn't want to. Okay, he doesn't want to stand right now. And I've got, let's see, looks like a, another Rugrat wind-up, which is very awesome, like a, slu uh, it's a sleuth, very cool, and I know she's going to stand up, that is very awesome, and we got a uh, little grabber, because it's got the little um, uh, metal pieces inside of the arms that he can hook onto stuff. So that is very cool. So he's gonna go, uh, he's actually probably gonna go in my bedroom where it's, he'll be easier to latch onto something. So he won't latch onto my toy shelf. So he'll go somewhere in my smaller toy shelves in my bedroom. That is very cool. And here is something else that will get added to my collection, which is a mask figure. That is very awesome. I think I've got, I think I got two of my collection so far. And I actually, I went to the flea market here yesterday, and I, I passed up on a on a mask figure, and I wish I would have got it, but that's okay. And looks like his little action isn't working. That is okay though. I am still happy to have him, and he will stand hopefully. All right, stand up. There we go. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even see that. He does have his little gangster hat there, mobster hat. There we go. Now he looks cool. Okay. I got a Hot Wheel here, which I do not have yet. Torque Twister. Very cool. And I'm going to crack this open because... Uh, I just love uh, opening up the, the uh, uh, like the recent Hot Wheels I open up. I don't, uh, I don't keep the recent Hot Wheels in the package unless it's like the Batmobile or maybe something extra special, but that's, that's rare for, for recent ones. And this is another wind, uh, is it a wind up or a pullback. Yeah, it's a pullback, kind of. Okay, but it's the uh, ET. Uh, I think this is when they were celebrating um, some kind of anniversary at McDonald's, and they were having all these random, because uh, you can tell by the party hat, by all the random um, characters in these little uh, mo uh, vehicles and everything like that. And I'll show you. It says 1994. Uh, it doesn't want to. It's focusing more on Dungeons and Dragons in the background there, 94. So that's very cool, and I don't have that one yet, so that's very cool. I haven't even come across them in um, like Savers or Flea Markets or anything like that, so that's very cool. Oh boy, yeah, th there's a lot in this, so I'm gonna have to do uh, two videos, I think. Uh, very cool to get this lion, because he's gonna be used for some toy photos. That is awesome, and that is a 19, I had to look at this off camera, I do apologize, 1998 uh, little line figure there. So that is very cool. Love that. Um, okay, let's see here. Some of the easier stuff to do. 
And I think he knows I, cl uh, I just started collecting these Thomas the Tank engines because I always find them in saver bags. And so I just started collecting them. So I'm not a fan of Thomas. I've never seen Thomas, but I just, I've always gotten these in, tra in uh, not trade boxes, but um, in like uh, savers bags and uh, like Epic that I go to. Good, so I haven't found them at Goodwill, but uh, savers is where I normally get them. So I just started putting them on my toy shelf, and I actually think that they're pretty cool anyway. So, and then I haven't used them in toy photos, but uh, I think one day I'm going to. Uh, this is a, which is, this one is very cool. Uh, it's very hard to read here. Um, I don't know who makes it, but I actually love this. Even though it looks like it is missing the hood, I still love this damn thing. And it's just a little bit, uh, worn on the decals, but I don't care because that is cool. That is... Very, very awesome, and I'm using this for a toy photo. That is very cool. I, I love stuff that's uh, flawed. You know, stuff that, it, you know, it, stuff like this doesn't get appreciated. And I'm the one that appreciates stuff like that because it gives it some character in toy photos. So, and plus, I, I just like the look of it anyway. Uh, we got a, this is a Hot Wheels from 1991. This is, let's see if I can do a close up here. A, const, uh, I'm gonna have to look at this off camera. Uh, const, uh, Constructo Concrete, uh, satellite dispatched uh, mixer uh, truck. Uh, actually, let me look at it this way because that's the front. Very cool, I don't even have, I haven't even seen anything like this. Uh, so that's very cool. It's gonna go in my collection. Uh, another thing that I've started collecting, because I sometimes find them, uh, actually I've been finding these at the flea market, are these little, uh, plastic Tonka trucks. And this one is, uh, actually this is a Fisher-Price one. Uh, I think it says, it's either 2000 or 2000 something. It's just molded into the plastic so hard I can't see. But that is very cool. Yeah, the little people. There we go. Okay. Very cool. Uh, next up is a Mountain Dew NASCAR. Very cool. I actually kind of like that one. It says National Guard, a lot of good, uh, uh, tempos. God, I couldn't even think of the word there. So, very cool. It's gonna go with all my cars that I've got. Let's see here. Oh boy, there's a lot. <clears throat> Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> you did good. God. Uh, and I have just as much for you, Dismania. So th this is just uh, wow. So uh, I'm glad that we're we're matching at least on all the good stuff that we're sending each other. This is a cool little ta plastic Tonka truck. Very cool. Okay. Uh, school bus. Uh, school district two. You know what I. This is a Maisto. I have something like this, but I'm not sure it says School District 2 on it. I'll have to double check that, but I don't care because I like school buses. So. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels from 1991. This is a tow truck, and I like tow trucks too. I'm not a big of a fan that they started doing this non-movable thing on their recent Hot Wheel. And like even like with Matchbox, like the older ones, you can extend them out, you can rotate them. So I I just kind of hate that they just made them stationary now. But still, it's very cool. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels from let's see, 2004. Is there a name on it? Uh, Whale Tail. Whale is W A I L on this uh, name of car here. Very cool looking car. I, I haven't seen a car like this, I don't think, either from Hot Wheels. So, very cool. Okay, wow. There's a lot of awesome stuff in here. Here's another plastic Tonka truck. Very cool with a little uh, character face on it. Okay. Oh boy. Wow, this is. Okay, I'll show this since it's not in a bag. 
This is very cool. Love big trucks like this. This is a city recycling department truck, and who makes it? I see it right there. It's a uh, real toy. Very cool. And it's got uh, real rubber, uh, somewhat real rubber tires. Yeah. And let's see. It is. It looks like it's missing the dumpster, but I don't care. So I think that's very cool. And that's gonna. It's gonna go way in the back. Very cool. And, ooh, actually, let me do this. Since they're Imagine X. And he sends me the booklets. I do keep all the booklets. So I got a huge collection of Imagine X booklets. A huge Ziploc bag of them. Okay, he sent me two of the same figure, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not different, okay? And I do not have this one yet. I, I didn't start collecting Imagine X until like series, uh, what was it, three, I, I think. And then I went back and I started, <clears throat> started slowly getting series one and two. So I do have two of them. Uh, I am keeping one, of course. And since they're, they're exactly the same identical, if somebody wants me to put this in their trade box, uh, let me know if you don't have them and I'll help you complete the collection and then that way everybody's happy but thank you for sending me two this that is very cool uh, let's see okay big that's extremely big I will show you this is a Mac tonight NASCAR which is very cool. Mac tonight, if nobody knows what that is, that used to be an old mascot in the 90s and didn't last long. And I actually have a Mac tonight character to show you from a flea market find yesterday, which I will show you at a later time. Um, God, I might actually just keep this in the bag. Yeah, I actually, this is one I'm going to keep. I'm not going to open this one up. I, I like it the way it is. That's very cool because I like these bags too. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Some of this stuff I might have to do for another video. Ooh, let me show you this troll doll. This creepy troll doll. That is that's that's cool. I actually like this. You know, the trolls are the troll uh, dolls are kind of creepy. I actually like this. This one I'll have to find. Actually, you know what? I might take this with me to San Fran. I might use him for something. Something interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he might have to go to San Fran with me. I'm going to put him back in the plastic bag. You're going to go on a flight. Okay. <laughs> I have something I have a, something in mind already for him. For San Fran. And uh, you know what? I think... I'm going to end it there because I'm at... Uh, am I at 20 minutes already? So that sounds like a good place to stop since my battery is already showing that it's going to die here. So this is part one. Um, I'm going to have to do a part two. I, I'm hoping I don't have to do a part three. But if I have to, no big deal. But uh, right now I'm going to say in advance thanks to Dismania for sending me all these awesome toys. They're going to get put to good use. They're going to get a lot of, a lot of love, a lot of good toy photography. I really appreciate it. And Diz, your box will be coming very shortly. I just got to pack it more because I bought you more stuff. So check out in the description below of all the, uh, in including uh, Diz Mania, all the friends in my Collector's Talk trading circle. Check out my Flickr page with all my toy photography. And in the comments below, just let me know what you thought was really cool that Diz sent me. So until next time, and until part two, this is Bosco signing off.